That's it. Today is the day where I'm gonna learn to make some pizza. Yay! I'm so excited. You know, like when your mama teach you how to cook for the first time. Today, I'm gonna learn how to make pizza by my aunt. Or she likes other people coffee, my coffee, Christina. And the noise is because her pizzeria is in Santo Domingo Norte, Villa Mella, and right next to a dog out, which is a call my dog, which people call my drink. So, yeah, we're gonna hear all the music tonight. So, we are gonna learn how to make some pizza. So, let's get started. So, I'm about to start. Yeah, I think you that. So, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I know. I'm gonna go and wash my hair because I know you. You don't know what I'm doing, but I know you've been saying you're gonna cook and you ain't washing your hair, so I'm washing my hair. I will be right back. All right, guys. And for you, you already know her. She is my aunt, or better say, my cousin Christina. <laughs> she is my cousin Prima. She gonna teach me how to make some pizza. The first thing is to open the bag. And okay, just to open the bag and get the, the door out. So we have to call with a cornmeal. Entonces tú vas a un círculo así, dándole haciendo el bollo. Tú le vas a dar vuelta a la masa. So what I have to do is to make a circle, just like this. That's what she said. So after you do that, then you make some circle like this. And then you, you turn it, you turn it the other way. Keep doing it. She's teaching me like I'm supposed to know. I don't know. It we didn't even practice. And she's telling me like, eh, no. <laughs> like I'm her employee. I'm not her employee. Thank God that she don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, y ahora qué? Después que la tenemos así ya empolvoreada, se pasa la pala y salarina para que no se pegue. So the next thing is just put more cornmeal on the cardboard. That way the, um, the dog don't get sick. Oh no. No, you're supposed to do that. Sorry. Yeah. Abre la masa, oh, okay. It looks like I'm going more than one practice. No, this is not for one thing. Then I... Sin cogiendo el peso uh -huh. en el so you're supposed to turn it around like this. Ve abriéndola. So you have to be uh, doing that and then open it at the same time. Now the door is ready. She's gonna let me alone to put the ingredients. So the sauce is a two scoops of tomato sauce. So we are making a medium sized pizza. And she say just two scoop of that sauce. Ah, no, en el centro, okay. She say two in the middle. I wasn't supposed to do that. Ahora, okay, yeah. And she make that, that. She make that sauce from the scratch. She say, you're not supposed to take that out. ¿Cuánto? Regao. Ok, si se dice, tú puedes sorprender el chido hasta que se cover all the door. So, we ain't gonna be stingy on the pepperoni. Si estoy making this, and I'm paying for it, I'm gonna put all the pepperoni in one. This is my pizza. When you guys come and buy, then we're gonna put one pepperoni in each slice. But today is my pizza. And this is just a pepperoni pizza because that this is what my daughter and my husband like. 
I like the pizza with everything on it. Anything that you can think yeah, of, you can put on the pizza. But my husband and daughter, they just like pepperoni pizza. So that's all we're doing, pepperoni pizza. So she's the one that needs to do this part because she says if you don't know how to do it, it can get stick in the oven. So since I don't have experience doing this, I let her do that. That way we don't do the disaster. So we're gonna let the pizza in for eight minutes. So let's see my creation. So about the pizza is cooking for about eight minutes. Let's ask my prima cousin some questions. Uh, like for how does she have the business and how we doing the price for her pizza. Cristina, entonces, ¿por cuánto tiempo tú tienes este negocio? So 11 years. So she bought it from somebody. She has been in the business for 11 years. Eh, y tú empezaste a trabajar eh, con la persona que tú primero trabajabas y después le compraste el negocio. Primero fui empleada del negocio en una pizza que no era acá. Y luego vi la oportunidad de adquirir un negocio y ella me dieron la oportunidad. Pero ellos tienen más sucursales, mamá, eso era lo único que tenían. Tres. Y ellos continúan. Eh, queda una. ¿Y se llama así mismo? Wow. No, ya no. Ah, ok, yo le cambiaron el nombre. No, un nuevo dueño. Era la jefa, fue que me cedió el nombre. Ah, y entonces después se quedaron con los otros y le pusieron el nombre. Ah. So she used to work for a lady and she saw the opportunity to get the business y she bought it from the owner. They allow her to keep the name and she still have, they still have the business, but they have it under other name. And she kept the name and she got a, like a franchise because they still have two of the pizzeria, but with a different name. So she had the business for about 11 years and now I'm going to buy about the prices. ¿Y la pizza que precio tienen? This is the personal pizza, it's about 250 pesos, which is what? Two, five dollars, about five dollars, yeah. 250, yeah, about five dollars. And this one is eight pigs, it's about 100, uh, 450 pesos, which is about two, four, six, eight, about nine dollars. And this is the familiar size, 12 pieces for say, 650 pesos, which is about what? Man, you make me to need a lot of calculation, but it's about, it's about 12 to 13 dollars. So for the familiar size, 12 pieces is about 12 to 13 dollars. So now we are going to see how our piece is doing. So this is, I'm gonna give you my experience for you first time. So you have to forgive me. He said that's what happened because he was trying to record and do the pizza at the same time. He said because it's natural the door, if you if it takes too long in the cornboard, then it gets sticky. That's what happened with the pizza when she got it out. She said you have to put that when you finish, you have to put it right away in the oven. Yeah, I was trying to record and tell you guys what I'm doing, and that is not how it works. So that's what happened, but she gonna fix it. So basically, even though I put all the ingredients in the topping, I got half of the pizza. So I'm gonna pay half of the price. So guys, as you can see, when we are not partying and drinking, we're working. You see how she works? <laughs> we have fun, but we also work. So just so you know. The other part was rolling on the bottom. It didn't uh, cook well on the bottom, so that's why she want to put it back again. That way it, it, it cooked on the bottom for about a minute. So now she just put the fire on the bottom and on the top because the bottom part was the, well, they need more uh, cooking time. So now we just in the bottom for about one to two minutes and they will ready. So this is like a garlic side. You're supposed to spreading all the way around the pizza. The entire pizza, my pizza is a half pizza, but are you supposed to put that in around the entire pizza? <laughs> so how many pieces do you think I can get? Okay, 
Man, you can tell this is not my, my thing right here. So you want me to do a three piece over here? This is not what I do for a living, you can tell. <laughs> no, she said that I... <laughs> she said it's that I can not work in her pizzeria. <laughs> she said, <laughs> I'm fired. She said me all that in Spanish. If you know Spanish, you can hear. She said I should make sure that way I can get the even size. You don't even do that. Yeah. 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 So guys, on my first time to make a pizza, I started with entire pizza. I ended up with half of the pizza. <laughs> so you know that this is not my first thing. So I hope guys that you keep buying your consultation. This is my thing, no pizza. So my daughter will do the honor and try the pizza and she will let us know how it is. Even though I have the pizza, it looks good. I don't know, but it looks good. This is, this is for my husband, he gonna try. And then I'ma try this piece. So let's sit down and eat. Mm. It's good. I like the cheesy taste of it. I love the pepperoni. Very good. Two thumbs up. So now it's my turn. I think I did really good. I don't care what you say, but I think that I can't have my own picture here. I don't need to hire some people to work for me. That's all. <laughs> but it's really good. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!